I mean, their entertainment choices are a bit more brutal, but you know, I'm I'm from modern times and we're pretty desensitized toward most things. Ever since Baby Safe came along, that really just desensitizes the shit out of people. Hmm. Made a lot of them sociopaths come to think of it. Probably not a great thing. Anyway. So right now they're into, like as far as entertainment, they, they enjoy music and... Everybody enjoys music, sir. Live performances and things like that. They haven't got any other kind of performance, sir. Magic all went away. I was going, going away. <laughs> but yeah, they're also into blood. Everybody likes blood and races and pretty women, the usual. But in the end, everything gets paid for in blood. All right, so all right, so let's get started on the uh, stage then. Wait, do you still want me to build the stage here instead of waiting until, or I can build temporary stage over where the blood dome is going to be and try to use some of the proceeds to help fund that? No, no. It, the, the point is, it needs to be uh, the fact that the golden waddle is complete. Okay. And, uh, so it's kind of a it's always future parties that's done oh. and then uh, I'll begin seeing if I can get some uh, further monies and stuff. Yoink takes the gold back. I'll start on it now then. Just, uh, tell me what you think it's gonna cost to do this then. I have no idea. I've gotta go and find I gotta go talk to uh, Claire and Darius to see what kind of resources they need and how much time they're going to need it. I don't see it happening real soon, though, because for this, they're going to need to majorly stockpile food and get ready for it because we can't advertise free food and then people show up and we run out because then there will be a riot. I well, want to have... The Golden Waddle is not known for its food. It's known for the booze. Why not just take the booze we have, Rad, water it down, make rog out of it, and just call it free drinks? Maybe, but then that goes back to his idea that that might be lighting the powder keg. I hope so. He wants to... Uh, Let's fire up this crowd. Let's get them excited about the future ventures of the Golden Waddle. By fire up, do you mean in a literal or figurative sense? Eh. Oh, well, yeah, if you want the city burned <laughs> down, I'll just fucking grab some more booze and we'll have that ready. Not a problem. I, you know, thing, I can't um, guarantee the water will survive, but, you know, we'll see what we can do. All right. Do you have any kind of anti-fire foam we can spray around before this party? Maybe coat the outside mm. of the building. It won't look good, but by God, it'll be a lot harder for them to burn that shit down. Mm. Yeah, that might attract the MIBs, though, if we start doing something like it. Yeah. yeah. You can water um, down the booze far enough that you can taste the alcohol and they're not going to get drunk on it. I don't know. Some of these people are really going to work at it, I'm sure. Plus, God knows what they'll spike it with. That's why I was what thinking a... food, because everybody's grateful for food now, too. I mean, how soon do you need this done, really? Can we do it in a week? He just gapes at you as though you just said, I am actually a giant talking fish. He just gapes at you like that. How hard is it to make, like, uh, you know, sticky balls, balls of rice? I mean, you know, we can just go with the easy stuff here. We're not trying to... Yeah, we're not, there's, there's yeah, we're not feeding the colonel and the offices. We'll, uh, let's do street food. Yeah, yeah, no, uh, I... Meat uh, on a stick, rice balls. We, yeah, uh, um, almost everybody in the city will show up for free food and free entertainment. And if you throw free alcohol in, we may get people from surrounding environs as well. Maybe we should just make Zyke go back and forth all day, uh, bringing 50-pound bags of rice on his lap. It just <laughs> leans back and looks at you. <laughs> it would be a start, wouldn't it? I saw doing the... You could move a lot of rice, you know, when you think about it. Hey, hey, maybe in a month? Is a month okay? Mm. I don't see a week right. being it. Don't see it happening. 
And like, hey, what what I think you'll get in a week is I think you'll get something uh, that has some food and some drinks and runs out and a lot of angry people. I'm uh, from what you're talking about. I'm expecting tens of thousands of people to show up. Tens of thousands of people are not even going to be able to make it in the streets that close. We're going to have to send people out with the food and the entertainment. I'm thinking getting some uh, troubadours and stuff well, out there. Let's, let's just, let's just right, reel let's it back focus in on, here. Let's reel it back in. <laughs> let's focus then on inviting fewer people. We don't need to invite the whole city. How, how many people are in this city? Uh, I haven't counted lately, but I'd say maybe... Twenty to forty thousand. Three. If we're going to get tens of thousands, you really expect half of the city to just pack up to come here to listen to Razzlin Rad, mumble a few words. That wouldn't surprise me at all, honestly. Yeah, the Golden Waddle has really <clears throat> been uh, advertised the shit out of. Every time food is given out, the Golden Waddle is talked about. It's on everybody's lips. It is the topic of conversation as to. Many, many people owe their lives to the Golden Waddle. You don't understand just how people feel about this place now. If there was a city game burned down, this may be the only building to survive. If it gets burned down, it'd be totally by accident. I'm pretty sure of that. So what can we do to... What about a parade? A decent crowd, but... What Not about a parade? Whole city. Parade? Invitations. What about the party? How about everybody who's come to the Golden Waddle looking for membership, things like that? Do it like a more like a membership bri uh, drive for more of the elites. Uh, because uh, Dosecki and his boys are uh, occupying the bar and the front rooms and stuff. And uh, if we try to uh, advertise for elites, then they're probably going to want to drink here. And right now that is not good remember the whole crazy insane colonel guy living here thing we talked about he's still here don't worry i've got a lot of attendants in there trying to keep that man happy and it's not easy but if you do a parade and we could do it with a lot less food because we toss food to the crowd. There may be some fist fights and stuff, but also you could literally circle it around and have everybody make some golden waddle stuff to, you know, signs and uh, uh, dancers and stuff and go through the streets of the city. And then uh, you could, uh, uh, in the center of town, like further away from the golden waddle, so no damage is done to it, get you up on a stage. Uh, five, ten thousand people might be able to hear your words. The rest would say, what did he say? Cause... Then that's perfect. You know what then, Brad? You know what? Just build the stage. Everybody who's out selling food right now, be like in one week's time, Raz and Rad is going to make an address to the town. You don't even have to give out food. Fucking just let them buy it. Give it at a discount. Just, just the people who are selling food currently, just sell the food at a discount. It is. In a week's time, Rad is going to be giving an announcement. <laughs> Oh, that, that's come. easy. We don't have to worry about it. Yeah, we just put out the word with that. We don't even have yeah, to change no anything except that. that Whoever comes, comes a speech. great. Instead of tens of thousands. Oh, geez, if we get 5,000, that's the only ones that could hear us anyways. Fuck them. Mm, sure. Uh, where do you want? Do you want to just give the speech in town, town center? They, we'll, get you, uh, we'll get you on stage. Should we do it at the town center? Does it make more sense to do it here in Rittenhouse? Uh, they got a big town square there that we don't care if it gets trashed or littered and we're not going to have to clean it up. Well, we can, that's the least of our concerns right now is the trash afterwards. We can, we can get that cleaned up. People are willing to work to do that. Okay. This is I must think be the backdrop a, wait a golden model is a good choice. The, uh, yeah, actually, here in Rittenhouse, there is a town square. As a matter of fact, I think on, uh, over on the other side of the waddle, uh, there's a town square with a statue of Lady Rittenhouse. Let's do it on that side. All right. It'd better be a good speech if it's next to the statue of Lady Rittenhouse.
Yeah, matter of fact, I, I, uh, I'll even reference uh, old Rittenhouse. I'm guessing we're going to be fast forwarding through some time so that this can all happen. Or, now, or, um, or is it right, next, so next season? Uh, let me, I don't know what you're doing. What let you're me talk for. with. Okay, so you know what to do. Let me know what questions you have. You got the bag of gold there. He, he says, I, I'm not even sure I'm going to need it. He just passes it back. He says, you hold on to it. I'll let you know if I need anything. But just for getting a message to get people to gather near the statue of Lady Rittenhouse in one week exactly, uh, what time of day do you want to do it? Are there any other details I should know about? Otherwise, they may be camped out there for the day waiting. Well, let's do it. Um, let's probably do it around uh, dusk. Uh, okay. Uh, I recommend a couple hours before dusk if you're going to talk for any length of time because you want the light. Yeah, I was also thinking of, it's true. A lot of people have been eating anyway. lamp oil. Some rather short supply. Plus, the darkness will get them to go the fuck home because uh, you know torches and shit cost money. Sounds good. All yeah, right. I mean, we could have the we could have the stage lit. I was yeah, I was also thinking about not having people out in the sun, but uh, whatever you think. They have sombreros, sir. More comfortable. <laughs> si, senor. So we got you. Yeah, I mean, they have a lot of sombreros, actually. All right. Okay. Now, so you're not going to talk longer than two hours? Nah, it'll, it'll just be uh, a few minutes. He Part says, of the reason when they show up, there'll be entertainment for them and all that, and then and then I'll come up and do my uh, little address after the, the crowd's uh, warmed up. An hour of entertainment followed by a speech, and then they got some time to get home before not being able to see and getting mugged. I love it. I'm happy to be a part of this. I'll go let people know. All right. <clears throat> Gets uh, send up. Uh, Bamfin on the way out. All right. Got two. Make myself comfortable in his chair. Shows her. Shows her looking super fucking nervous as she, she's now talking to the boss. I. I need you to get me a gift box about this big. You know, with a give me a ribbon to put on it. All right. She rushes off. Good use of her talent. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Once uh, she comes back, I'm going to put a little gift in the box. It's not a dick in the box, is it? I've seen the video. Damn it! <laughs> right? You stick some stuff in the box. Ribbon it up. She kept keeping a nervous eye on you. All right, let's see. Uh, where is the uh, colonel at now? At the bar, sir. She says, with the patience of somebody who's had to serve a roaring drunk for months. I, I look at my watch that's not there. What time of day is it? It's uh, early evening, she says, because she also has no watch. All the watches stopped working when the magic died. So now it's nighttime, daytime, noon, maybe close to midnight, maybe not. Oh, yeah, they got fucked. What, time, what time do I think it is? You think it is? Maybe 7, 8 p.m., something like that. He should be on the gym by now, she suggests. <laughs> maybe a bit maudlin. He goes through moves. Maybe, maybe I should wait till uh, tomorrow to have a talk with him. Not before noon, sir. Not before noon? Oh, God, no. Is that because he's sleeping or because he's cranky? Yes. I believe he's cranky while he sleeps. So what time does he roll into the bar and what time what does he start drinking? Uh, afternoon and he usually starts with champagne. 
So how about this? Um, let's be waiting for them tomorrow in the bar, and we'll uh, can catch up with them and uh, give them a gift and uh, see uh, if I can schmooze them a bit. All right. She. So thanks, love. She kind of gives an odd look and hurries off. Okay. We will uh, exit out the back to the garage. You see a bunch of mercenaries sitting around guarding wagons. They straighten themselves up when they notice you coming in. They look tired, but enthusiastic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gardening takes a lot out of you. Being sitting in a cool basement for hours just apparently drains them. All right, next. Uh, so let's go stay uh, somewhere else for the evening. And then we'll come back in the morning that way. The colonel's not roaring drunk already. The uh, carriage guy that you hired for today says, uh, "Will you, will you, uh, gentlemen, go to the Helton? The Helton? Helton's nice." He says cautiously. No good. Hey, it's it's nice. The embassy's better. The embassy is better. Do you want to go to the Helton or the embassy? He asks. Let's go to the embassy. He takes the you Australian to, embassy. He takes you to the most expensive hotel in town. Seventy silver a night. Seventy oh, silver a night is correct. Well, I'm sure their prices have come down recently, right? Um, let's see. Uh, no, they've kept it right up. They're just running with more empty rooms for some reason because the kind of people who stay here would be offended if the price went down. <laughs> All right, so we'll get a couple rooms so the guards can stay with us. You know, they're going to be in wow. shops. They get their own fucking suite, no problem. It's uh, it, The rooms are made to accommodate three. You've got one, and then uh, are you keeping the drovers, or are you telling them to come back in the morning? Uh, we should probably keep them handy just in case, right? Sure. Uh, you can, yeah, uh, let's see. So uh, you've got uh, three drovers, six guards. That's uh, four rooms, you, five rooms, uh, five gold. Everybody's fucking staying like kings. The drovers are like, it just shows them standing, like clustered together in the room. Like, should we touch anything? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> totally freaked out. It's, it, this is the most po over the top posh place in fucking town. And like a bunch of Amish in a Best Buy, huh? <laughs> yeah, and you've, you've just right. said, you guys are out of the room just like ours, and they're like, because ah! that's the only kind of rooms this fucking place offers. So, yeah. Uh, cut to, we'll go back the uh, next morning. Um, make a note that uh, you have three drovers that would rather work for you than anybody else in the town. Uh, their job is uh, basically riding around in uh, the carriages and shit. So, hey, hey Mr. Vega, Vince, mm -hmm. follow my lead on what we do, all right? We're going to go in, we're going to go into the back door, we're going to get some um, worker uniforms, some like waiter type uniforms. So, we're just going to go in. And we're, you're going to go wipe down some tables. You're going to come back if somebody orders a drink. Come back by me. We're going to polish some glasses. All right? Sounds good. All right. Something evil is going on. I approve. <laughs> well, Vince was asking me about uh, learning some craft. Ah. Uh -huh. Secret, so, secret. I'm just showing him in-game how to be crafty. Yes, excellent. Uh, right, you guys uh, get dressed up uh, uh, like all the other workers and whatnot. The soldiers in there completely ignore you guys, and they're they're talking about you know they're they're worried about um, possible like since the city 
has been weakened, and since they've been weakened, they're worried about somebody from San Fran, some sort of uh, possible push from San Fran coming in and sending out scouts that way. Also, they're uh, doubling the patrols on the roads from that direction because if they're going to get attacked, and what about the Vegas problem? Oh, Jesus, you know, all that kind of stuff. And so, yeah, they, they ignore you guys as you sit there fucking cleaning glasses and shit. Um, yeah, you know, I show them like mirrors, windows, doors, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Just to give me a spy craft roll there, uh, uh, Ralph. Mm -hmm. Make it good, make it sexy. Can I support him? Uh, sure, you can try. Is that spy lore? Yeah. Hmm. All right, hang on a second. There you go, critical. You get a plus 10 on your roll there, Ralph. Yeah, he's <laughs> me something. I was going to say, apparently he's an apt student. <laughs> Hang on here. Uh... Both stealth. <laughs> I love the noises you make. Is that considered a post-World War II skill? Uh... Using mirrors and trickery? Yes, uh, I've actually studied the history of Spycraft. It's been around before the Greeks, but... Uh, I know, I know. I was just trying to scam a plane yeah, my card. Yeah. Actually, the Chinese, even the, the, the Qi, or, yeah, Qi dynasty and shit. Yeah, yeah. Spycraft. Right, here we around. go. Plus 10. Are you guys ready for this one? I am totally ready. Mm -hmm. You have a... <laughs> I thought you had that skill up. Yeah. I was just testing you. You have passed as he's pointing out things to me. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. I am so old, I have forgotten what I didn't even know. There you go. <laughs> Amazing, you think. You've never had any kind of teaching like this before, by God. <laughs> mm. Might not ever again. Wow. <laughs> Wowee, you are just floored by this. Yeah, so while they're doing that, yep. um, I'm going to... Uh... Oh, you guys are not armed, by the way, correct? Oh, no, I'm not. Okay, because no. the serving, serving staff isn't. However, <laughs> you do notice, uh, give me spot hidden rolls, you two. Hold on, Jay, I'll get to, back to you in a second. Okay. Vince doesn't notice, but Swade does notice that at any given time, there are various possible makeshift weapons that happen to be just here and there around various workers and whatnot. It's like, oh, it must be cake cutting day and shit like that all the time. Gotcha. So uh, apparently uh, they, they, they're they ready for some shit. Right. And also... Uh, Vince, with your fucking critical spyler roll, you notice that <laughs> other people are polishing glasses or is setting up uh, uh, silverware and stuff, and they are very much into studying that with only occasional glances at reflective surfaces. Like, tea tourings seem very popular and such. Meanwhile, back to Jay. <laughs> So uh, I'm going to get set up at a table, uh, the table that uh, we, um, or I think the, the colonel has his own table, basically. How are you dressed? Oh, in a suit. I'm dressed nice. Mm. No problem? Uh, well, I uh, instruct the staff to have a bottle of champagne waiting. On ice. Got uh, ice a gift. I got my uh, gift box. No problem. Eventually, the colonel uh, shows up. He, he's yelling at uh, one of his subordinates and such, and he doesn't even fucking see you. He, he's like, where the fuck is my champagne? He, colonel Dos Equis, the most interesting colonel in the world. He whirls around, sees you holding a bottle of champagne, and he goes, is that a dagger I see before me? <sighs> <laughs> Come, join me. Uh, he blearily <laughs> stares in your direction, trying to overcome his series of fumbles. Ah, at last he's broken. <laughs> he's just gonna have him keep descending down into madness. Uh, he staggers forward. He goes, "Rasslin' Rad, my old friend." 
Oh, it's, it's been too long. Good it's good to, to see you, mate. Come, let us drink this champagne together and weep for what has passed and rejoice for something else. <laughs> he says, come, join me at my table. It's better. Oh, what's, is that a dagger I see? Oh, no, it's a box with a bow on it. Good. Yes, I have returned from my travels and brought you a gift. Where have you traveled to? Oh, all over this great land. Grace the Baker's Field and down Route 66. Oh. I've been out securing supplies and food for the city, trying to ah. stabilize things and keep Stability. it safe. Trying yes. to keep this pot from boiling over. I believe that I've heard of your great deeds in the pots. Yes. You notice he's looking a lot worse than he used to. His breath smells bad. He's barely in uniform. He uh, has a kind of red puffy nose. He, he's definitely falling the fuck apart. He right. takes you over to his table and he, he seems to calm down after he's had his third glass of uh, bubbly. I motion for another bottle to be brought over. <laughs> it just shows somebody on greased rails slide up with a mare bottle. <laughs> and he says, you have to drink crystal. Everything else is shit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he says, I, I suppose I could do it some breakfast. Bring me my normal breakfast. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Would you like anything, Mr. Rad? Oh, sure. What, what are you having? Uh, I recommend a new item I had added to the uh, menu, the uh, golden waffles. Uh, normally, I just have five pieces of bacon. You know, those complement golden waffles very well. Make that ten pieces of bacon. And we'll try these golden waffles, he says. Waffles and bacon are brought to you guys, and you uh, eat upon them. I can barely eat solid food anymore until I've had at least a bottle of bubbly. Very happy with uh, how this staff is uh, doing. It look, seems like everyone's gotten up to speed. They're almost as well oiled as the machine you have working for you. I've always felt that once you've got them by the balls, their hearts and minds will follow. He glares, he glares at you uh, while he's working on a particularly difficult uh, a waffle, and he says, They all hate me, you know. Mm. Yes. Say it isn't so. I wish it were that I could. They're after me. They envy me. My power. They want it. Only you understand me. Only you are my friend. I'll have to get rid of the rest of them eventually, but I won't let them know. I have a I look around. For it. Yes, we'll do, we'll do them in. We'll do them in. I believe my master stroke will happen six days from today. Yes. <laughs> Is it, uh, perhaps we should think about finding you some place more secure? There is no place more secure than the waffle. Uh, I mean, water only <laughs> waves around his waffle. <laughs> I look around kind of conspiratorially. There is a place I know of that oh. we could get it could be had for real cheap. Oh. It's got walls. It's very secure. Walls, you say? Walls. Yes. Yes, I like the sound of walls. Give me a psychology yeah, psych roll to manipulate this drunken idiot. Psychology? Hmm. You're oh, pretty much trying to push the correct buttons and stuff without pushing him too far because he is dancing on the edge and the edge is full of banana peels. Will you like a plus 10% uh, Jay? Oh, about uh, fast talk. Uh, that, 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 
might work, but fast talk might not last long enough to get him to actually go there and fork over a bunch of gold and shit. Fast talk would be a good spiff on the psychology. Mm -hmm. Give you, you could support your psychology with fast talk in other words. Yeah, I've got a plus 15 if you need a J. Jeez. Oh, I did it even without Christ. my supporter. I have learned. Oh. Yes. Check and I'm totally interested in getting a walled estate. Maybe set up some heavy ballista at the corners of the walls and perhaps uh, some catapults. That should keep them back a bit. Now, I happen to know that before the famine... This place could have been had for 12,000 gold or so. Now wow. it can be had for about 9,000. Mm. I think this will serve as a good uh, location for you to hold up. It'll be more defensible. And when what, things, here? Uh, I've been holed up here. And what? when things uh, turn around, even as an investment, you could flip it and uh, make a nice, tidy profit. Six months from now, you could even resell it and make a 3,000 gold on top of things. Flip it? What is this? That's where you buy something and sell it for a profit. Yeah. Oh, it's not here. You're not talking about this place. No, I'm talking about the Pembroke Estate. The Pembroke Estate. He rolls to see if he knows about the Pembroke Estate. Uh, yeah, it's the Pembroke's. They're always out to get me. It might be worth it to see the look on their faces when I own their home. I can pee in their <laughs> toilets. Isn't that rather pricey though? How much did you say it was? Well, I know that before it was worth about 12,000. I've heard that it might go for 9,000, but I, uh, I think it might, could be had for cheaper. Huh. It would mean leaving the golden waffle, though. Where would I get my drinks? Well, you wouldn't need to move in there immediately because, of course, your men would need to set it up to your uh, preferences. My preferences. And, of course, once you are settled in, though, yeah. seeing how I am uh, one of the best suppliers of food and drink in the city... I will, of course, keep supplying you. Keep and it flowing. you're always welcome here in the Golden Wattle. Yes, it yes, is my yes. honor and privilege to have you here. Uh -huh. I would like to see this Brookie estate. Mm. But I will arrange for that. I will have to arrange for the transport. We'll need troops and an armored wagon. Maybe some armored horses to pull it. I can't let the bastards get me this time. If you want to get there using discreet methods, Discre I could get you there without people knowing that you ever left. I know. It's not safe for you. I won't have you risk your life like that, Rattling. You're too good a friend. I, I, ah. I will get us there. Don't you worry your head about that. I have everything. Everything completely in my power. You're a good man and thorough. Speaking of good friendship, let me show you this gift I brought you here. Oh, yeah, there's a box of the bow. Is that a dagger? No, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. All right. <laughs> here, let me help you. You finish your waffles there. Oh, thank you. I uh, start to slip the bow off. I'll yeah. take it off. And inside is one of the silk robes. Uh, Look my. at the stitching on this. Uh, it's absolutely a man of, beautiful. A man of your status uh, should have the best of evening wear. Oh my word! This is amazing. It, it, it almost—it's so perfect. It almost looks like an antique robe. Uh, he begins to cry. And I had it done. In, you're so good to me. I also had it done in the colors of. Like his uniform, so it kind of fits his. Uh, I can wear this on parade when reviewing the troops. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I pin my medals here. Oh, I love it. Thank you. 
Here, go ahead and try it on for me. Uh, yes, he stands up and begins to take off his out. clothes. And <laughs> I kind of a Nazi. <laughs> Look how wonderful he looks. Right now, Everybody's so light. Or bottoms kind of guy. He just takes off his tops and stuff. Everybody politely applauds. Ben's oh. take card for actually applauding there. <laughs> I love it. I have a of this now. Yes. Does anyone want a helpful librarian card? Um, let's see. Did you have a refill or anything like that, Vince, earlier? I have a full retrieve. The colonel sends a runner off to get uh, uh, many troops and a heavily armored wagon. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, let's. Uh, you, you'll want me to arrange for that first. I don't know if. Um... Yeah, nonsense. The wagon will be here within the hour, and we shall go. Mm -hmm. All right. The, uh... I'm going to go to the bathroom. I like to have my morning vomit now. Excuse me. <laughs> hey. He gets up, again staggering, I, 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 falls. I, I walk with him and I, he, what's that? He falls on his face, he jumps to his feet and looks around and he goes, did you see them? It was, oh, no. a, it I, was I crabs. Help, I, I, I help him up. It was crabs. You should find them. They've gotten loose from the <clears> kitchen. There were two of them. They work in pairs. You there, I say to one of the staff. Find those huh? crabs immediately. Put them right. in a steaming pot of water. I start searching you. for the crabs. You help him. <laughs> Here, I, I'm holding on to the colonel's uh, uh, elbow. Uh, You're all right there. Uh, Don't worry, the staff will take care of this. I'm sorry that uh, sorry that you had to have a little trip there. See, what's so great about these robes yes. is that this is very similar to mine. I like to wear these after dinner. Hey. Perfect to wear at night before bed, but when I'm enjoying my nightcaps. Oh, does it come with a nightcap? He begins searching the pockets. <laughs> now I'm talking about your evening drinks. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now, 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 now. Yeah. You said uh, something uh, about the restroom. Yes, right this way. Uh, you take him off. He's like, I have it from here. He staggers into there's There's guards that are looking rather like... Give me an empathy <laughs> roll there, uh, Jay, on the guards. Uh, Ralph, give me a spot hidden roll. Vince, you can try to support him if you want. Here, yeah, I'll him. do that. Fucking sway. By a quarter? God damn, if you don't find two fucking crabs hiding under one of the fucking uh, tables with tablecloth. Ah, I say. <laughs> give me grapple rolls, both of you, as you attempt to get them. They're quick. That's the weirdest thing that you've seen all day. Ha ha! They have defeated Vega. Uh, they got me. Go on and help me. Where is this grapple? You what do you want to do, Jay? Uh, one of the guards is like, he's going to be in there a while, sir. Nah. You've probably got a good half hour. He, You hear some crashing back from the direction you came, Jay. Um, now I will, uh, you know, I'm walking him over to the bathroom. Oh, no, no, he's, uh, he's already, he's gone, he's gone in by himself. He's like, I have him from here. He went in and the guard at the bathroom door because he insists on keeping the bathroom guarded because assassins may try to creep in the bathroom while he's not in there and right, right. steal his stool and, uh, steal his stool. And the guard says, you've probably got a half an hour, maybe more before he comes out. Right. Um, yeah, okay, I will go back into. Uh, I'm going to go into the kitchen. I was going to say, if you're really good at riding a horse, you might be able to make it to the Pembroke Estate and back at a gallop. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be something. Um, um, I'll tell Bamf. Bamf. Go see Billy Blankenship. He's the real estate broker. Tell him that me and the Colonel will be coming to take a look at the Pembroke estate because we know it's on the market. Hurry, make haste. 
I tell her where Billy Blankenship is. This is the real estate broker I used before. I'm just making up the name on the fly. I like He's it. He's the one that helped me secure all the uh, warehouses that I've used in the past. I like it. Give me an empathy I'm roll. She out from the kitchen to see where uh, Suede and yeah, uh, I'm coming back. Uh, it looks like they've been running around in the dining room chasing something or other, and uh, yeah. The Colonel has crabs, crabs, I say. I like Billy Blankenship. Cool. And it's better than Billy Bodie McBoatface. So, uh, no worries. You uh, you guys are all oh, together. To again. Take a look at the uh, Pembroke Estate. I'll tell these two uh, what we're up to. And uh... Okay. So we go back to an uh, office, private room. You're coming in a lot softer again, Ralph. <clears throat> Yeah, this thing just keeps trying to mute me and do things. Um, Have you considered do we want to go talk in a private room there, uh, Rad? <clears throat> All right, it's only been a few minutes. Let's go over to the office. You got we right. uh, walk to get there. We go into the dining room out the north kitchen, past the uh, the bathroom. Do we we do we hear like retching and stuff from inside? Uh, occasional mixed with muttering and stuff. Uh, there's two guards on the door looking really like they this is not what they'd signed up for by the way did you make your empathy roll on uh, uh the lady um yeah i got uh, my empathy roll by a quarter she looks like uh, your orders make her uh, scream into a pillow at night when nobody's around <laughs> oh you're talking about on banff no my um empathy okay. roll was yeah. yeah, I still got it by half. Definitely the screams for into the guards. Definitely screams into a pillow uh, in outrage when you no ways around. Anyway, so you guys <laughs> go the to press room. War. <laughs> <laughs> Take a card. Well, how do you want us to pose the rad? Do you want us to be uh, your assistants? Do you want us to be? Uh, you think he's just going to take you only in the gar carriage? Yeah, that's quite possible. Well, I was thinking, you know, we could, you know, let's, we could spend a couple days socializing with him, um, you know, while uh, preparations are made for the party. Hmm. Oh, you by know, the way. In the meantime, maybe he'll uh, be interested in uh, this property here. By the way, you two give me psychology roles on uh, the Colonel for additional information, because I've given because uh, uh, Russell and Rad is definitely on his way to making a um, grand or two off of the poor bastard. Hold on. You really don't care what the psychology of the Colonel is, right? Nope. Hold on, if you want to give me a second, psychology. You can do it. I'm going to play at plus 10%. You can do it. So I'm at a 20, and no. You can do it. Mm. Cool. Neat. So, uh, yeah, carry on. <clears throat> oh, wrestling! I'll give you another psychology roll for a little bit more additional information that may be oh, a man. very good. I, I already made my roll once. Let's see you if I did. Can you make totally it did. Yeah, you, that was to completely psychologically manipulate this guy into spending a large <laughs> amount of the government's money on stuff. <laughs> but doing it at Learn probably not going to do that twice in a row. No, yeah. I failed. Pity. All right. plus five right so he is doing that let's see he's definitely got a lot more insane since you've last seen him you're thinking mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so let's um we can go ahead and kind of fast forward through like the next part if he's wanting to go have a, a look at the place what are you what are you doing with your two uh, one an extra guy, meaning that. Um, <clears throat> you two grab uh, bottles of the Colonel's favorite drink. Perfect. Grab a bottle of champagne. Bring some glasses. 
basket of food. You'll accompany me. All right. All righty. As you guys are uh, heading heading out, everybody give me a spot hidden roll at half. The colonel's like, oh, it's a very good idea to have these people with you. And, uh, you can never tell when the road, the road dust makes me thirsty, you see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Watch out for crabs, he scans the ground. We found a couple of them that were responsible. Would you like them boiled and cooked? Yes. Very good. Vince, are you going to try for a spot at half? I yeah. did not make it at half. Yes. Vince seems to be frozen up. Ralph seems to be gone. What the hell? All right. What the earth? Apparently, they're busy paying attention to carrying their large, awkward packages of stuff. Yeah. Uh, Vince has died. Yeah, he did. I got to get uh, Vince back in the game. I don't know what happened. His computer just crashed. No worries. Oh, wow. Right. So right now he's, you know, they're busy doing the Porter thing, attending. As as you guys are heading to the carriage, a crossbow bolt goes in the Colonel Dos Equis. He goes, ah! falls down. Going into combat rounds. <laughs> I love that look. Like, hmm? Look, I'm trying to make money here. You can't keep shooting to people I'm trying to make money off of. Says Rasslin to the assassin who apologizes. Um, let's see. Standard combat. Heroes are first and cannot attack. Defending is approved. What do you do, Ras? I defend the colonel. You throw yourself on top of him or? The colonel! He's, he's busy trying to fall right now. Going, Aah. He wasn't too stable before he got shot. Now it's definitely not good. I get between him and where the coral came from. No problem. Give me a spot hidden row at half for an extra little piece of information. There are, in addition to you guys, there's also several military guys with you, of course, including the second in command. Uh, Spylor? Uh, spot said? at half. Spot at half. Oh, spot at half. Okay. Uh, Ralph, uh, you were. You were busy concentrating on uh, uh, carrying your large bundle. The colonel seems to be falling for some reason. And give me a spot at half, Ralph. Mm, crabs. Mm-hmm. They're, they're infesting this fucking place. Uh. No problem. Uh, you notice uh, other soldiers are hurrying over to the colonel as well, uh, including the second-in-command who is attempting to catch him from behind. And we now go to next round. Bad guy's turn. And next round. Bad guys did things. Heroes are first, villains are second, and can only defend. Reloading is approved. Shows the bad guy. <laughs> no. um, right. The colonel was falling. And uh, both of you guys give me spot hidden rolls a half. Nope. Say, Colonel's been shot. Everybody's freaking the fuck out. Mass panic is going on. Where in this, with exactly the soldiers and are we right now? You are on the steps uh, or open, between your between the golden waddle like just coming out of the golden waddle getting ready to head over to a super reinforced heavy carriage with like a bunch of big fucking glidesdale looking horses pulling it like six of them and shit and <laughs> cool um let me check on something else here <laughs> got it i the troops are working on getting him uh, back into the Golden Water. Pretty much, uh, they, they see that you're you're like no, and trying to interpose. Like actively yourself. defending, trying to keep myself between him and yeah. the shooters. No worries. Uh, 
you do so they're taking him back in your two companions seem amazingly distracted <laughs> my bundle of stuff <clears throat> and uh right the colonel is brought into the uh golden Aria, bring him up to the suite I point at two people go grab the two medical boxes the big boxes out of McCarriage and bring them up hurry stat it shows the second in command who's getting ready to yell all this stuff he's got I like some blood Swede on him and, and stuff uh, he's like you two come with me go get towels follow me up to the presidential suite a bunch of soldiers are in the I second look in at command. a bunch like, of the other guards you go the door all right, excellent all right. second in command's like do it he's very impressed he gives you a look like hmm I give him the look. Guard the front. Don't let anybody in. Make I'm going sure up with you. Uh, if you must, make sure somebody is yeah. taking care of these blokes. No problem. Uh, he, he gives orders and stuff, and he also has the medic summoned. He says, bring Timsdale the medic. And one of the guards goes, Timsdale, you heard me. Very well, sir. And he hurries off. And then, um, bam. Have me security brought up. Send them up. We're uh, we're taking we're taking the uh, the colonel upstairs. We need to treat him. Lots and lots of blood. No the assistant here is a great doctor. We're going to take care of him. And they're getting our medical boxes out of the carriages. Who's the who's the doctor? Says second in command. I put my arm around <laughs> Swade. He's standing there with a big package of champagne and sandwiches and shit. I only hire the most skilled people to be my personal assistants. Very good, the guy says. The colonel definitely in a bad way. Uh, he gets taken upstairs and uh, put into a bed. So, hey, do you want to do some first aid to like look you, around and I need assess? Everybody that? out except for the people working on him. Guard this door. Do not let anybody through. These One of them might be the traitor. We've got to save him. We've got what? to. What says the uh, second in command who has not moved along with a couple of other guys? There are people guarding the door, but second in command and two other guys are standing fast. Get us some kind of screen to put around we got to keep any kind of particulates and dust from getting into the wound hurry don't you stand there the second in command gives orders to uh, one of the guys who's guarding the door who hurries off and apparently for some reason they're sticking around what did you say says the second in command and swayed you notice that his right hand twitches slightly What did you say? Says the second in command. There's a lot of tension suddenly filling the room, and you notice the two guys with the second in command kind of ease apart uh, a little bit. I said one of them, I gesture to the hall, could be the traitor. Mm. <clears throat> he did look shifty. I point to one of Give the Give me a fast talk roll, Swade. Uh, the, hmm, he says, you can never tell. Everybody just stands there, not moving, hands loose at oh, their sides. Hey, hello. What's going on on the, uh, the old, uh, no problem. Uh, aside from the, anybody, is anybody bringing stuff up? Uh, you hear them yelling and uh, working at cross purposes downstairs. There's just so much tension in the room, it fills it. And Swade's like taking off the guy's shirt, and there's a crossbow bolt in the front, a big fucking uh, stab wound in the back. I think back when I used to do this, you know, 30, 40 years ago, <laughs> you know, before I retired. <laughs> Uh, you hear somebody running up with bandages and such. The tension decreases just a little bit, and the, the door opens, and uh, uh, one of the staff comes in with bandages and uh, uh, some water and stuff. Uh, this is what we, we're working on the medic kits. I look at the second in command. 
he looks at you. It's a really level look. Good. That's what I want. Uh, one second here. Hang on. His his two. You Good. can tell his two uh, soldiers with him. They're kind of keeping an eye on the second in command out of the corner of their eyes. They're keeping an eye on him? Mm hmm. They're looking, uh, give me empathy rolls. They're waiting for his nod. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Is that oh, yeah. They, they're pretty much uh, waiting. They're waiting with, uh, uh, they, it's, it's like they feel like tightly wound springs. I say it would be, uh, looks very serious, I tell him. Yeah. It would be a real shame if the colonel did not survive, wouldn't it? Yes. Does it look like he is going to pull through? And I stare at him really intently. He looks like he's in a bad way, says the second in command. I just fucking just rip that shit right out of his chest and put it back in if it looks like it's not working. <laughs> 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 really? <laughs> you, 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 I was going to say, you don't have to go that overboard in order to uh, have him <laughs> slip away. <laughs> I just get like twist, you know what I'm saying? It's like I pull it out and twist it and kind of lift it. And... Yeah, you, you do your best, but unfortunately it looks like the colonel's just spouting more and more blood. The uh, poor person who came up with the, the water and bandages who's not in on all this is like, Looking around like what? At least the... I was there. Hurry up! Put your finger no. here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it's a no, here. You fool! You're letting the colonel die. I start pinning this on whoever it was. Just <laughs> place those there. Place those there. I hmm. step out into the hall. Where are those men with my trunks? No problem. Uh, yes. Uh, um. Eventually, uh, medic, your medic supply or the trunks get brought up. Mm -hmm. the, these Place are the ones that are left in the garage. Correct. Mm -hmm. I'm really curious as to what's. In I the look place. at the like the rest of the staff. That's not the number two and his men. Oh, looks like Vince is starting to come back. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, Oh, well, as soon as he comes back, I'll pause for a second because I'm going to see what he does with something else that's uh, going on with him. Because I was using the distractions and your guys' internet issues for evil. And Excellent. Yes. Well, if the, if the computers... Go ahead. What, what were you working on doing, Jay? Um, the people that like brought up the water and bandages... After they're done, I'm kind of shooing them out of the room. They are delighted the, to leave. We must let the doctor do his work. Uh, very good. Yes, you're, you're watching the second in command who's looking. Uh, Ralph, give me a empathy roll. I'm going to play a card. Oh, let me see if I even have that skill. I usually don't care. Come on, Vince. Oh, the link. Yeah, sorry. Nothing. Play a plus 15. You can do it. Oh, yeah. He's wondering if you might be clever enough to let live or too clever to be allowed to live. You can tell that is the big thought. Are you ready? I look at Rad. I wait for the nod to go off the rails. <laughs> Okay, hold on. I'm going to pause for just a second because I'm going to fuck with Vince real bad. I'm glad that you guys have already got your shit planned out. I'm really curious to see what's in those fucking boxes and shit. So give me a second to mess with Vince here because it's what he needs. It's what growing lads need. So Vince, welcome back. Thank you. You've got a big picnic basket type thing, and it's got like a handle in the middle, and then the two sides kind of open like that. 
and the colonel got shot on the steps and everybody started screaming and ran off and back into the golden lotto with them and you're standing there and you notice that there's a smear of blood on the side of your picnic basket kind of going up toward like the opening uh, i run or i'm kind of hidden Okay, you go around the side of the building. What? I open it. Inside, it looks like there's a bloody dagger of some sort. Is it one of my daggers? No. I don't care. Um. <clears throat> kind of just place it down away from the waddle. You... Place it on the street. There's still blood. Not in the, it's yeah. still in the basket. That's oh, you place the basket on the street. Yeah. Okay. And then, are you I look for somebody... a rustling rat or gone, uh, mysteriously disappeared in the huge amount of chaos and twenty some people that are all yelling at cross purposes that happened. <laughs> 